welcome to my build video. Let's buff up real quick. The weapon buff again real quick. There we go. So we're sitting at about 5.5k weapon dam, 31% crit. And 28.7k 28, physical resist, 30k spell resist. For attributes, running 18 magicka, 46 stamina. This is a hybrid build. For our max stats, we got 21.3k magicka, 32.7k health. Well, like 32.8k without the sets cutting it. 28.7k max stam. As for the sets I'm running, I'm running Mighty Chudan with Mars Bomb and a Wretched Vitality. On the jewelry, we're running Mars Bomb, two pieces of it, one of them infused weapon dam, Mark and Ring of Majesty, infused weapon dam, one of them healthy weapon dam. Why this one isn't infused is because, well, I didn't have to transmute at the time, but health is actually really nice, and I don't notice the missing 100 weapon dam very much. In fact, it's not even 100. But yeah, you could run arcane here you can run robust healthy infused whatever suits your play style inferno staff of wretched vitality you can actually run a shock enchant here for extra five percent more damage on your target the proc damage plus stork does five percent more uh shock damage i believe let's see yeah five percent more shock damage back bar powered Mars bomb staff weapon dam which if you want to run shock you know you got weapon dam on the back bar but for me I don't go to my back bar unless I need to heal so I'm not really poking people with this too much unless I'm heavy attacking for resources as for other mythics you can run here you can run pale order for the extra healing from crit surge and just your damage itself and you can also run sea serpent's coil I don't really run it but I prefer marking for our consumables, running Bewitch Sugar Skulls for the tri stat, max stats. Health recovery is also just nice. And then we're also running tri stat restoration potions. For our abilities, running Bound Armaments, Camouflage Hunter, Streak, Crushing Weapon. This is your source of Major Breach. It's great. Use it. Crystal Frags, use it on proc, or you can just hard cast it if you want, although it's a little more risky because you can get interrupted for your ultimates. Dawnbreaker, Overload, or Comet. I don't have Comet, so I don't really know. But, going back over to the armor, for our enchants, stamina on the head, health on the chest, stamina on the belt, stamina on the boots, stamina on the legs, Magic on the gloves. I actually swapped these to trainee, of course. I don't know why I'm wearing Necropotence here. But you have an extra about 1,200 health on this build. So you're probably going to be looking at about 34k health. Before buffs like Minor Toughness from Wardens in your group and Scroll buff. So you can actually have an absolute metric to help this build. And health on the pauldrons. As for your traits, reinforced on all your heavy pieces. This one's in pin because I haven't trait swapped it yet. But you can also run in pin over well fitted if you want. And for your uh, weights, I'm running four heavy, one medium, and two light. You can run three heavy, two medium, and two light if you want. But I've been getting good results out of four heavy. Since I'm a sork, we're squishy, need the extra armor. Also gives you more health. Going over CP. Sustained by Suffering, Boundless Vitality, Pain's Refuge, Arcane Alacrity, which ties into our back bar. Not sure if I went over this yet, but we're running Crit Surge, Dark Deal, Resolving Vigor, Healing Ward, Haunting Curse, and Life Giver. Your main heal is going to be Healing Ward, and you just Healing Ward, roll. Healing Ward, roll. While you have Vigor ticking, so you just want to do stuff like that. Or if you 
really need to heal up. You got a lot of people on you, a lot of damage, a lot of dots. Life giver. Well, that's always good. For a blue CP, running deadly aim, untamed aggression, master at arms, fighting finesse. As far as untamed aggression goes, this is a flex spot. So you could swap out untamed aggression for something like focused mending, which is really good with the restoration powered staff. You're going to absolute metric fuck ton of healing, especially if you do a heavy attack for that major mending. Or you could swap it for something like resilience. This is always a good option if you're getting ganked and shit. Let's just buff back up real quick. As for how you play this build, you just want to poke with elemental weapon, I mean crushing weapon. Great. Maybe while they're stunned. Because in my experience a lot of people are on either CC immune and DB them. Or the uh, block it, or you just whiff it. So streak is a good way to secure that DB. Also, always want to keep curse up. Also, streak is more of like a CC immunity check. So if you streak through them and they don't get stunned, don't Dawnbreaker them. Boom, boom, boom. Lots of damage there. And since I'm getting a little low on resources, or about half, never want to get too low. Just pop a potion real quick. Easy. Back topped up. That's all there is to it.